So today's video was sponsored by Seek, which is an awesome augmented reality app that allows you to bring the craziest things to life right in front of you. So you can explore and uncover new experiences in real life. So kind of like how Pokemon Go was, except you can get real life rewards. You can post and share your AR content on Seek. You guys can see in the video in the background, one of my friends Jordan going through the app, playing a few different things and it's super, super easy to use as well. You can also follow different creators and see their adventures and you pretty much can just create your own world essentially and travel to the craziest of places and take a look around you know on what this app really has to offer for you and there's a bunch of different experiences for you to try out so I'd highly recommend you guys go and download it it is available for both the iPhone and Android and is free which is always a big pro that allows you to get some real cool gifts so the link is in the description below go and check it out What's going on guys and welcome back to another Spider-Man video. So today we are back sharing more ideas suggested by you awesome rebels and today I've chosen three of my favorite ones and if you guys are new to this series basically we share ideas that don't necessarily have to be possible but just things that we'd really like to see in the game essentially either in this one or the future ones to make it a whole lot more cooler than it already is. So let's dive straight into the awesome ideas we do actually have and I'm gonna start off with a guy named Nintex or Nintex, I still don't know how you pronounce that but he does say I have an awesome idea. So when a building gets destroyed by bad guys you can see the construction workers rebuild the damage and I know it's probably stupid but I think it will look really Realistic. Now, this is the interesting thing. Realism in a Spider-Man game, it seems kind of ironic, I guess you could say, because of the main character, you know, Spider-Man, who's just web-swinging around New York City. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really get crazier than that. However, apparently this is a thing that happened in the Ultimate Spider-Man, was free roaming, and a lot of people did actually think it was pretty cool. And I do like the idea of that, you know. It'd be great for you to destroy something, and then you kind of like swing past it the next day, because we already know, and you guys did inform me in my last video that of course like during weekdays some certain areas are gonna be a whole lot more busier as opposed to like on weekends like all of this sort of stuff somehow is gonna be synced with your console I believe and will kind of like depend well it will make your gameplay experience varied basically so not er everything is gonna be the same and I do like the entire idea of that so I think adding something small like this would be great you go by one day it still hasn't been rebuilt you go back two days later and maybe it has who the heck knows but I mean just having some sort of realism like that I do like the idea of that now moving on to the next one and it is something that I have touched up on in the past and it does come from Pipeline Mafia and he does say I think it would be cool to have a first person mode as well as a third person mode so Here's the interesting thing, right? So we've seen like in the trailer when Spider-Man was falling down and of course he's just literally shooting his webs as quick as he can to of course stop what was falling down, which was great. Now, some games necessarily, you know, have this option, I guess you could say, but it's only in like cutscenes sometimes, even though it's one of those weird ones, like it's just not in the game at all, it's just simply like in that specific scene. Now, I still liked the idea of this because, I mean, sure it would be a little bit hard to do and, you know, from what we have seen and going off that little feature, we really don't know, you know, if that's the only experience you will have with a first person, but a lot of people, believe it or not, to get annoyed with this and they did say this ain't GTA, but hey, alright, it's still a freaking open world game, it doesn't mean just because GTA has it, another game can't, I mean, it's a game that would definitely be action packed for first person and it would probably make your gameplay experience like whatever difficulty you're playing on if there's options for that a lot harder of course but I think it will have a nice little effect to it because maybe you just want to free roam around and kind of like explore New York City going in first person taking a look around I think that would be absolutely fantastic but hey get in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think on that one. Now, moving on to the last one, and this is a bit of a different um, idea. It's not one we've had before, but it also kind of like gave me a different idea. Now, it is about 
people basically taking pictures of Spider-Man. So it does come from one of your rebels again. And he, and he does say, I want people to react when you land on the ground or walk on the sidewalks as Spider-Man. People will try to take selfies or look at you weird for wearing a costume in the middle of the city. I would love that. Now, the cool thing that kind of stood out to me here was taking selfies. So... We've already seen like Spider-Man use a phone, of course that was from a bad guy in one of the cutscenes or gameplay videos I guess you could say. And this sparked up a cool idea and I know loads of people will be like, Super Rebel saying GTA, shut the fuck up. And hey, I know, okay, but what if Spider-Man actually had a phone where you're able to take pictures and maybe share it to a community, you know, take selfies and kind of get that different uh, feel in the game. Because don't forget, Spider-Man is Peter Parker, okay? We know we will be able to play as Peter Parker, which of course is an older guy now, so hey, he's definitely going to have a phone, okay? So... All of these little ideas is sparked up to something really, really cool like this. So, you guys can get in the comment section below and let me know how you feel about that one again. However, I think it would definitely do well in my opinion. It's definitely a great way for just to have fun in the game. I mean, pulling out your phone next to a bad guy that you just kicked his ass and he's on the floor, of course. Maybe you can take a little cool selfie with that. And don't forget, you know, they still might want to be taking pictures of Spider-Man printing it out to the newspapers and all that sort of stuff. So, realistically, it would make a whole lot of sense. But... Get in the comment section below, let me know, but my idea is you take a picture of that and maybe you can sell it to the newspapers and maybe there'll be like some sort of in-game currency you can get to maybe build a different Spider-Man costume or something along those lines. I know, I am an absolute genius with these ideas, okay? But anyway, that is going to wrap up this video, so share all your thoughts on the ideas we did have. Do you think they're absolutely crazy? Do you like any of them? Or do you have any ideas? Of course, drop them in the comment section below and the ones that do get the most thumbs up are the ones that always make it into the video. But that being said, I will see you in the next one, so be sure to subscribe for more awesome content. Have yourselves an amazing day, and until the next one, adios amigos.